Everything is dipped in gold Then baby it will never grow Everything sweet ain't sugar coated Select the image that resonates with you the most. This is group one, group two, and group number three. We are going to be diving into this pick a card reading to find out what are people noticing about your growth and most likely aren't saying, but there may be some tidbits in here that you have received comments or compliments about. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and find out what are people noticing about your growth, about your glow up, about how you are becoming bigger, better than ever before. Let me know in the comment section down below how this reading resonates for you. Sending you so much love and so much life. I pray that this reading brings peace, love, light, healing, clarity, but most importantly, truth and motivation. If you would like to book a personal reading, that is the very first link in the description box to head on over to my website to peruse and see what works best for you. If you are interested in additional content that you won't get on the channel, including pick a card readings, collective messages, and just all other things that won't be uploaded on the public platform, that is the Patreon link, which is the second link in the description box that I highly encourage you to check out. We have a great vibe going over there and I'm super excited for what this year, specifically 2024, as it is January 2024, has in store for us on Patreon because we are getting more in tune and established with pick a card readings over there, which I'm really excited about because there's more freedom on Patreon. So if you want um, ad free freedom to say what we want to say and if we want to use some adult cards we totally can okay so it's a little bit freeing over there so definitely join the more the merrier for sure and we also have a group chat um, where we can talk to each other via the patreon app so join us if you will there's also a p.o box as well as a virtual tip jar in the description box down below if you would like to contribute to the growth of z channel all right so let's go ahead and get started and of course if you are subscribed to the channel there is a talian message at the very end of the video for you if you're not familiar with being a talian hit the subscribe button and join us at the end and you'll see what it's all about ta-ta for now Group number one, if you resonated with the first image, your message beneath your image says Hyrith, longing for home, homesick for the stars. Let's go ahead and dive into this reading and find out what are people noticing about your growth, about your glow up, about your evolution, about your change. Some of you could have um, moved somewhere or traveled somewhere for New Year's, okay? Um, something about a major city could be relevant here. We have the third house. Your camera quality could be upgraded from before. Um, or your editing skills, capabilities, or modeling skills or capabilities, um, your, your vision or your eye for aesthetics. Those of you that are photographers, you definitely um, have advanced in a way that people didn't necessarily see. It's not that they didn't believe that it was possible, but they just didn't see the vision. Um, there's something here where people are noticing your growth in an aspect where they didn't see the vision before, um, but now they are beginning to see the bigger picture here. We have Venus, love. Okay, so there's this message here about people not understanding why you loved someone or something so much and now they're starting to see um, or this could be people that didn't understand why people or luck just favored you so much but now they're starting to see why there's some sort of disconnect in regards to um, a desire or 
a liking or a taste for something or a love for something that people did not comprehend or understand and now they're starting to see it here What are people noticing about group number one's glow up? Most definitely, you seem to be more popular. Yeah, and with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, not only are you more popular, it's with less effort or you're not having to try as hard. Yeah, the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. Um, there is this effortlessness in your growth here. Um, it's been a quiet path, okay, I'm getting here. Yeah, exactly, the Six of Cups of the High Priestess this growth this glow up essentially happened it seems like overnight yet a lot of time has passed is what people are saying there's a humbleness and a humility here as well yeah the seven of wands um there's also something here too that people are noticing how much work you've actually put in towards something for some of you this is actual time effort energy money spent um for others of you this is you pitching ideas so again time effort energy um or trying to find an investor or get someone to believe in your vision as well here what are people noticing about group number one's growth? I'm getting something about group number three for you as well. I'm also picking up here too that people are noticing, again, there's this effortlessness where you don't have to try as hard and that seems to be your sweet spot. We have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck and at the back of the deck, the seven of cups. The thing is, is that you seem to be in a lane of your own where there is no competition it's like if someone tried to compare or contrast you to someone else um, or something else whether this be like a, an aspect of yourself or a hobby skill or talent there's something here that's incomparable you're in a lane of your own a field of your own that could be part of what people didn't understand is like why you were pursuing a certain path or going in a specific direction or pursuing a, a specific relationship, hobby, skill or talent here. But now it seems like things have kind of um, began to unfold or make sense for you here. I'm also seeing here too that on the flip side of you receiving love and, and this energy effortlessly, people are also seeing that you receive a lot of backhanded comments or compliments as well, whether this be to your face or not. The very people that shamed or discredited whatever this is are now the ones that are making odd comments or snare slick kind of comments about how you got to where you are or why you're shining like a mother fucking star okay let me move this out of the way to get some some shadows out um now there seems to be a level of frustration of people wanting to stuff you back into the box that you were shipped in people are noticing growth in your networking capabilities and it's making the vision more clear to say like oh well that would be one way that they can make that dream or that goal happen and again they want to stuff you back in the box There's this vibe around tradition and someone wants something to go back to the way that it was. That six of cups, high priestess energy. Someone wants you to go back to being quiet, being meek, being unseen. But they're seeing that it's literally impossible because that's never who you were to begin with. People are noticing your growth in regards to people taking you more seriously. 
And I'm also seeing here too that you could be posing a threat to some people. Like people could be threatened by your presence. These could be the very people that once discredited or shamed or dis didn't believe in whatever, whatever this is. The very people that you were once associated with or begging for help from are now the ones that you are giving help to. But you're not overcompensating or begging or pleading for their time, effort, energy or attention. You're just giving from your heart space when you want to, how you want to. From your perspective, it's all love over here. But there's some sort of frustration coming in from the other side because they don't want it to be all love for you. They liked it better when it was a little bit more friction. There's something here about your peace and your contentment that confuses, appalls, and offends people. There's just something here again about like traditionally speaking, group number one is supposed to be in this box. Why are they not there? And it makes people uncomfortable. People are noticing that your growth has nothing to do with them, that you are no longer trying to shrink yourself down and make them comfortable because I think you did at one point in time and they're beginning to see this, how you shrunk yourself down. But now you're right back up in the sky high where you belong. As the Hyrith card says, longing for home, homesick for the stars. It's like you were a fallen star or something like this here. And you had to go find, you, you had to go back on this journey, this trek to get back up there. But there are people that miss when you were fallen. Closing messages, please, for my group number ones. Huh. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Look at that shining star. It's giving shine bright, shine far. Let's put you over here in the light, honey. Be a star where you live, where you are. Be a star. And you are naturally a star. That's the thing. Okay, yeah, especially if you post on social media or something here. Um, it's sickening. There's people that see you and they immediately got to click off because they're pissed. So people are noticing your growth because of the feelings and energies that it's sparking within them. Like these people are actually kind of appalled or disgusted with their own reactions to you. Their own sense of shadows that are triggered by you effortlessly, it kind of has them uncomfortable with themselves and in the situation but they're projecting the discomfort to say that oh no it's you because you're out of place not realizing that you can go wherever you please and you are right where you're meant to be but they liked it better when you were down we have serenity yeah you're at peace and for some reason when you are at peace People are realizing that that's your growth spot, that's your sweet spot, but something about that makes them uncomfortable. It's almost as if like, you know how a weed and the plant or the flower that you're actually trying to grow, they have to compete. That's why you have to pick the weeds. It's like the weeds were taking over for so long and so your flower, your bush was, it was dead. But now you are back to life and it's shrinking the weeds down and I'm even getting this energy here of the inner, the weeds are being plucked as well. So some people could also feel like your success or your energy is taking from them in some way, shape or form or taking from their shine or their light or it's again making them uncomfortable, but they're projecting that onto you to say it's your fault. Okay, um, although this message was a little shady, I hope that you were able to pick up the love in it from me through spirit, I'm sorry, through, I, can, I can't even talk straight. 
from spirit through me to y'all i hope that you feel the love i hope that you see the wisdom in this and don't take it for the shadows okay sending you so much love so much life i pray that this reading brought a little bit of peace love light healing clarity but most importantly truth and motivation to you first link in the description box to book a personal reading second link in the description box for pick a cards and collective messages that you won't find on the main channel p.o box and virtual tip jar if you want to contribute to the growth of the channel very end of the video i'll see you there if you are italian meaning you are subscribed whether you subscribe today or any day before those of you that resonated with the image for group number two your card states deep cellular healing Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into this reading and find out what are people noticing about your glow up, honey? About your growth, honey? I'm hearing that song. You got dough and change, you got dough. Then you change, baby, you change. It wasn't the same. That's Keisha Cole. You changed, something like that. Um, let's see here, seventh house. Okay, so we have seventh house relating. Okay, let's put you there. What are people noticing about your growth, about your glow up? I'm getting something here about like, okay, I'm getting like a sexy glow up because I just saw the Playboy Bunny image. Okay, so you are a lot finer than they remember. Okay, whether you are masculine, femme, anything in between or on the outskirts, you had a major glow up. Um, this seems to be people that have been either like, intimate like physically emotionally spiritually whatever they've been more intimate with you um because not only do they see physical changes they see changes in your behavior okay P pisces the mystic okay so people have also noticed a deepened sense of faith here people have also noticed that you seem to be more withdrawn from them but more involved in your own world bottom of the deck we have mars action okay so people are also noticing noticing that you seem to be more physically fit or active or you seem to be going out more but again these are people that are on the outskirts okay these are people that he have either um wanted to date you kind of got to date you fully did date you people that you've ghosted people that have ghosted you people at a distance okay ten of pentacles yes definitely um some sort of a pledging allegiance or like pledging to a new faith um, or just dedicating yourself to new routines. Again, uh, it's giving small, small knit family or small circle. People are also noticing the deepening of connections with people around you, but not them. There's something about this here. What are people noticing about group number two's growth? Ace of Cups, exactly. Okay, so if you are in a relationship, people um, have taken note of how it seems to be uh, growing, deepening, or this is your love for yourself that seems to be growing and deepening, okay? Um, there's also this side message here too, a double message even, um, that people are noticing that their love or their liking or their pull towards you is deepening or growing five of swords here no but this is most definitely people that are jealous of your deep connections with other people and not with them bottom of the deck we have the seven of swords here yeah like what do you mean you went to the movies with them yesterday what do you mean y'all went bowling last week like but you didn't take me you didn't invite me like well so people are noticing your glow up because it's making them feel unseen unheard 
or filtered or fake or corrupt. These could be people that are no longer able to access you because of their own behavior, actions. I don't know why I wanted to say because of their pedigree. Okay, so someone feels like they're just simply not good enough to be around you. Genetically speaking. There's also something here too of people like wanting to be a part of your family or again, a part of that close knit vibe. So that's how people are taking note of your growth because once before they didn't care about being a part of your clique or your group or your family, but now they want to be in. They like, wait, 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 wait. Like when did that happen? When did they surpass me? When did they receive more love than me? When did they stop caring about me? <laughs> My eyes just went here. And this baby looks so like pissed off, tugging on somebody's leg like, hey, help me. Like that's how someone's like kind of throwing like a little hissy fit or this is the energy of people that are noticing your growth. They're kind of like throwing a hissy fit because they want your time, attention, effort, energy. And it's like, this is the same kid that bites, spits and screams at you when you help them. But they want you to help them. Huh? So that's another thing, too, is that people are feeling too childish to be around you. People feel like you are more mature than them, more mature. Y'all know I like to. <laughs> yeah, more mature. Also, white objects seems to be relevant, like white nails or uh, like this white feather standing out to me. This looks like like, I don't know, I'm looking at it like white salt or like white crystals. And then even this here too, the white. So what are people noticing about your growth and your glow up is that they're getting left behind and I don't think that they thought that they would care as much as they do. Closing messages, please, for group number two. Closing messages, please, for group number two. You have a disagreement. It says, I am your hell. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, don't even waste your time, sis. Yeah, like people feel like you won't even like spend a time, spend a, a moment of time with them. They're like, damn, like you, you disagree with me and now I'm blocked. Like I said that my favorite color was purple and you hate the color purple. So now I'm blocked point blank period because you are keeping your promises to yourself. Ten of cups is your beliefs. Ace of cups is self. What I believe is best for myself is to avoid people whose favorite color is purple. Y'all know I like to use like absurd um, analogies and metaphors and things just to make it make sense. Okay. But essentially, it is what it is. People are noticing how easily you detach from them and situations and like how much you're in your own world. And this really seems to be disrupting their peace, apparently. I'll put this here. Yeah, people, they're noticing your growth because all of a sudden now they're sad, mad, bad and all these things because you don't believe what they believe or you won't go where they want to go or you won't do what they want you to do. Not as easily as you did before. Let's get a keyword for group number two. Keyword for group number two. Oof, resolution, boom, that's what it is. You used to give in to other people and be like, oh yeah, we could do whatever you wanna do. We could do whatever you wanna do. You're not doing that as much anymore. You're not bowing down as much anymore. You're not being as agreeable anymore. 
you're not as easy as you once were to handle or to deal with. Now people are seeing you as a force to be reckoned with. And that is disturbing their peace, darling. And that's how they're taking note of your growth, your glow up. These readings so far, the first two groups, it's like they weren't negative, but they weren't the most positive. Like, it's like from a hater's perspective, like, damn, like, they got me. They, they got one over on me or something like that. But I do pray that you are able to take the love away from this reading as spirit has channeled it through me to you at this divine point in time. I'm sending you so much love, so much life. First link in the description box to book a personal reading. Second link in the description box for additional pick a card readings and collective messages and just other info and things that you won't receive on the main channel. And there's also a P.O. box as well as a virtual tip jar if you would like to contribute to the growth of the channel. Let me know in the comment section down below how this reading resonates for you. And if you are a Talian, meaning you are subscribed to the channel, whether you subscribe today, yesterday or any other time before, I will see you at the very end for your extra special message. I'm off. Group number three that resonated with this image that says the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Let's go ahead and dive into this reading and find out what are people noticing about your growth, group number three. Okay, well, first of all, some of you could have had a breast augmentation. You could have had children. Um, you're looking more plump and more radiant like you've got a glow to you um don't take that as like oh my gosh i've gotten fat honey that is all up to perception how do you feel about you but what i'm seeing here is that people are noticing your growth in a sense that you look more full and glowy like like new okay let's see here as opposed to flat and lifeless you look plump and glowy and full of life. You look new. Pluto transformation. Pluto transformation. Yeah, taboo transformation. These are my, my peoples that have got uh, augmentations or you've been in the gym. You got some sort of fillers. You got some sort of this. You got some sort of that or you you got that hip replaced or you got that eye checked out or you got that mole removed or you got it's something like that fourth house roots yeah for some of you it's like you changed your teeth or your you could have got a surgery like maybe you had a crooked finger you got that changed something like that uh, conjunction empowerment but essentially even if it wasn't like surgeries involved this could just be like simple hair changes um, more or less sunlight whatever the case may be um, you are doing things that empower or enhance your natural beauty You're doing things that make you more naturally beautiful. So people are noticing your growth and your glow up in regards to you could be being um, more physically active. You could be eating healthier. Some of you are surprising yourselves because you are having healthier cravings. We have the seven of cups. We have El Diablo. And we have the Queen of Cups. For some of you, um, you could have, you could work in the adult entertainment industry of some sort in any way, shape, or form, whether it be photos, videos, exotic dancing, you know, things like that. Here we have Judgment at the bottom of the deck. Yes. Okay, so yeah. People are saying that you've like gotten away from your roots or you've uh, strayed away from home or you're like, this is giving like someone you know the cliche movies that like oh they're dating uh somebody who wears all black and rides motorcycles now 
um, or yeah, there's this, it goes from like, a, I, I basically like you are looked at as like this pretty, pretty, pretty ever unfolding rose. And now there's like a dagger through the rose. Y you know, those like tattoos that have like a flower and then a dagger like, oh, oh, if you do hold up, y'all gotta, I gotta, hold up, hold up, hold up, like, 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 like these. Okay, this is a tattoo that I designed for myself way back when, but you could, it's giving this like, like, you know, like something soft and frilly, but to me, this tattoo is like, it's pretty masculine. It's pretty edgy, but I feel as though you were just viewed as like, oh, like soft, pretty, beautiful flower. And then boom, like, you know, okay. So, um, they're realizing that you are not only delicate and soft, like a flower, but you're more delicate, like a bomb. Okay. Um, <laughs> funny. You seem to be extremely empowered, um, the type that people don't want to cross, the type that will be respected and never neglected. Um, you're the type that people go somewhere and they're like, you know what, let me make sure I buy something for this person because if I don't, I'm gonna hear about that shit. <laughs> um, you could be being viewed as very like uh, needy or greedy overindulgent in a way like mine 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 me 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 it's all for me you see for you you went from whatever you once were to extremely selfish is what people are saying or self-centered or emotionally volatile or emotion emotionally disruptive to where people do not want to piss you off. You're not afraid to, you're not hiding your frustrations or your angers or your shadows anymore. And it's confusing to people because you were this soft, pretty, pretty, pretty princess rose that never talked back or um, never had an opinion or never this or never that. And now you are. And it's something big here about people realizing that they have to respect you, that they have to respect it. There's also something here about people feeling like they have to follow through with the things that they say or else. Like there's like this energy written all over you where it's like, like. Uh, the way that you respond emotionally varies from person to person. There's thousands upon thousands of you viewing this. But. When you are emotionally triggered or a shadow side of you is triggered, you do what you got to do. And the thing is, is that what you do is different now. I feel like before you just kind of like festered or whatever the case may be. But now you're not afraid to uh, express your distaste or your like there's just something here where people are noticing your growth because they don't want to displease you. Um, so people are recognizing that they care about your opinion more than ever before. Oh see like yes okay so if you've ever watched the brats series these two little minions here do everything that their boss i think it's even their mom tells them to do no matter what is going on like this one percent um on the battery here it's like even if someone feels like they barely got it in them they're going to make sure they fulfill their promise or like whatever it is there's something here that people are noticing that you are yeah you're more needy and people may feel like you may be uh, more emotionally draining for them or something like this here but it's all about perspective because essentially they call it emotionally draining simply because you're no longer suffering in silence you're no longer suffering in silence and that's how people are noticing your growth and for some they are very uncomfortable with it people liked you better when you were suffering in silence when you didn't talk about the things that you were feeling or seeing or thinking or dreaming. Surrender to the divine here. Yeah, vulnerability. Bottom of the deck. Your crown may tilt, but it'll never fall. Yes, exactly. You are more expressive at this time. Look at this. I hurt you and I'm sorry is at the bottom of this card here. 
you are being noticed, uh, like your growth is being accounted for because of the way that you hold people accountable now. Before you used to let things go, you're not doing that anymore. And when I say that, I mean like the type that really impacts your well-being, like you overlooking someone cheating on you just because you want to be around them. Absolutely not. You're not you're not just going to let go of someone cheating on you because it's, it's not cool. You know, like that's not what we agreed on here. You're calling people out on their shiz and that's how they're noticing your growth. The things that you never said before, you are saying something about it right here, right now. You may have even been the type that maybe said something in the past, but it was a, like too little too late. But you're saying it right in the moment now is what I'm seeing. Your courage is really opening up. You have the heart of a lion is what I'm getting here. All right, let's get a keyword for my group number threes, please. Group number threes. Your keyword is closeness. Mm, there's the heart. You're drawing nearer to your heart and being more cautious and careful about how it's being handled. You are taking care of yourself emotionally and it's triggering people. But it's also motivating them to take on certain attributes or habits like this for themselves. This could even be uh, something to do with your friend. Like maybe you have a friend that is more vulnerable or emotionally volatile or there, there's something here. Someone that you've been close to or something that you have been close to or something that you're holding close to you has you more open but because you're more open that means that you also have to be more cognizant if you have more land that means that there's more land for people to breach so you have to watch those boundary lines you've been on your p's and q's and making sure the i's are dotted and the t's are crossed and making sure there's no stones unturned Because before you used to let shit slide, people are realizing now that your growth is showing because you don't let things slide anymore. Yeah, like just because you get close, that doesn't mean that you're close enough. Point blank, period, honey. Sending you so much love, so much life. And I pray that you found the positivity and love in this reading. I pray that this reading brought peace, love, light, healing, clarity, and most importantly, motivation and truth to you. First link down in the description box to book a personal reading. Second link for additional collective and pick a card messages that you won't see on the main channel. And there's a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar if you want to contribute to the growth of this channel. If you are subscribed here, I will see you at the very end, Talians. If you don't know what a Talian is, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you at the very end of the video so we could show you what it's all about. This is all that I have for you, group number three. Let me know how this resonates in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Shout out to my Talians that get special treatment just for being subscribed and just for being you. Let's see what special message are we delivering, okay? What is our overarching theme for the Talian message? Let me know, Talians, what group you watched or groups that you watched because you know I like to know what's the correspondence is there a correlation between my Talians and the groups that they choose so let me know if you are a Talian in the comment section down below uh, you can comment with your alien emojis and then also let me know what group you felt drawn to so we have the blue flame spontaneous awakening activation integration time okay so it's time for something it's time let's do this like that it's time for something okay it's i'm getting it's beyond it's past time for something so something may seem sudden uh you may suddenly want to start doing this or you may suddenly want to stop doing that it's not sudden it's just long overdue bottom of the deck earth school life lessons soul growth study higher learning okay so this could be a lesson that you suddenly learn or um, an epiphany that you suddenly have it could be in regards to work or routines um, but it's most specifically in regards to you feeling like you are too good for something um, or feeling like other people are just not up to par with you. 
point blank period. They need to get on your, your frequency, your flow, your timeline. You're upping your price here all of a sudden, it seems. We have moon feelings, but again, this has been here for a while. The feeling has been here for a while. This ain't sudden. And anyone that thinks it's sudden has, has not been paying attention. We have opposition and balance here. Okay, um, so someone's or something is being activated. The other side of you is being activated. Your sun energy has been activated. First of all, let me come up out of this jacket because now it's getting hot as I'm talking about the sun energy. Um, but something has been activated on your feminine side here. Okay, so um, there's something here about people seeing a side of you that they've never seen before. We have Pluto transformation at the bottom of the deck. But I feel like, no, I don't think that that shuffled since the last time. So, oh. Talk to me. What is the new bottom of the deck energy for my Talians? Sixth house craft. Okay, so the organization. Okay, organizational patterns are shifting here in your world. Yeah, I just saw the King of Wands. Your your structure, Queen of Swords. The magician. Your um you wrote down the plans and things that you wanted to to, to do and the change that you wanted to make. And now you're implementing them, which means that you're going to have to like you might be cutting certain people, places and things loose. You might be incorporating new things. OK, that's what I'm seeing here. Talians. King of ooh, King of Wands comes out here again. You're really on top of things. You're really on top of shiz. We have the seven of wands coming out. I don't want to take it, though, because it kind of like y'all saw how it came out. I want it to be intentional. But the seven of wands was in that position for group number one, I do believe. So you could have been drawn to group one. One card at a time, intentionally, please. What is this King of Wands energy from my Italians? We have the lovers. Okay, so I feel stunned or appalled by uh, this card coming out or like a feeling here. This masculine is looking at this femme while she's looking up at God, you know, and this masculine here, they both have a similar look upon their face. So a sudden activation within you could also be suddenly activating someone else. Yeah, Eight of Wands, the motion, the you're leading by example as well here. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse here. Okay, I'm hearing it isn't going to work. What's at the bottom of the deck? The death card. Exactly. Sudden shift, sudden change, sudden ending, sudden beginning. Ba wow, back of the deck, Knight of Cups. Look at that. Someone's demeanor is going to shift or your demeanor is shifting. There's some sort of like you're seeing the other side of something, someone or yourself. Two of Cups. This could be someone else seeing the other side of you here. Page of Cups. So... I think that someone could be seeing another side of you, which is going to be bringing out another side of them. Again, you are leading by example. Yes, Six of Cups. Um, I'm also hearing something about you showing them what it takes or something like this or like um, leading by the rain. Someone could be asking you to lead the way or guide them a bit more. Someone could definitely be in their feelings because they feel like they they failed something or they feel uh, used or upset by some sort of outcome or something. We have temperance here. Sporty spice. Yeah, I feel like someone's trying to trying to make something work. But again, that Seven of Pentacles said this, it's not going to work. Let's get a keyword for this message with my Italians here. Someone could be trying to like bargain with you or something like this here. Contentment. Yeah, you could find sudden contentment away from where you used to find contentment. 
or you're finding a new sense of joy, peace, and abundance, regardless of someone or something else's flow, you are detaching. You are no longer dependent or relying upon anyone or anything else for whatever this is. I do want more info on the seven of pentacles reverse please more info on the seven of pentacles reversed what's not going to work or what is this oh okay so it could be someone's um, um uh oh i wanted to say emotional manipulation but the king of swords is more of like the the wordsmith type of manipulator so someone can't smooth talk their way through this anymore or something like this here yeah someone just can't lie the four of cups switch way yeah, it's not going to work or something did not work. One more. That was too many. One more. What's going on here? What's not going to work? Five of Pentacles, which way? In the reverse. I'm getting something about like someone's money don't spend here or something like that. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Back of the deck, Three of Wands. Yeah, someone's going to have to look elsewhere or try harder or Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups. Yeah, someone's realizing this, the moon. Someone's really in their feelings about something, though. Temperance, they could be expressing this soon, but they need some time first. Someone could be taking time away or time off here with this temperance. You could think that something is over or something is... Uh, cold or something like this here but it's merely taking a break or um, shifting its gears someone's literally finding emotional balance here by something that they realize is not going to work um, I feel like getting a, a couple more keywords so contentment dependability and opportunity someone could have been trying to offer you something and realize that it's not enough simply because you're already content you can already depend on yourself you can already depend on the people around you you already have started opportunities for yourself. You, like there's something here, like someone's trying to wave something in your face, trying to tell you that it's better than what you already have, but you know better because you value what you already have. All right. Is that all? That is all. Love ya.